Hello everyone, welcome to Illustresa. So this is the question that we have uh, uploaded in the ETAB quiz series. This is the first question. And uh, uh, the question is that at which location we will get the joint shear calculation for this joint A in ETAPs. So uh, especially I am designing with IS 139 to 2016. So that's why I have written in bracket. So suppose we have a joint uh, like this joint A and we have the adjoining beams from all the four sides or maybe uh, different other sides. And we have this column above and column below. Now, if you want to check the, if you want to get the calculation for the joint shear uh, as per IS 139-2016 for this particular joint, then for uh, at which location you will be getting that uh, calculation in ETABS actually. So the location means, uh, suppose you have this beam. So uh, we know that we can check the design calculations for the beams and columns in ETABS. Then in which calculation you will be finding this joint shear calculation. So the options were C1 top. So if you click on the C1 and if you go to the uh, top location of this C1, then you will be getting whether it will be getting the uh, calculation. Uh, B1, B3 and if you see this B1, this is the start point left and right is the end point and b3 this b3 also start point and end point whether you will be getting the uh, you can say calculation at the end location of this b1 and b3 or the start location of b2 and b4 these are the start location or the bottom of this c1 column so where you will be getting this uh, beam column uh, sorry the sh joint shear calculation for this particular joint so always remember in ETAPS the joint shear calculation is given always at the top of the column okay the joint shear calculation is always given at the top of the column so for this particular joint if you want to find the joint shear calculation it will be given at the top location of this c1 column because if you see this joint is the top location of this c1 and is the bottom of this C2. So we will not get at the bottom, we will be getting at the top. So the answer will be C1 top. Now I will show you in ETAPS. If I go to this ETAPS, I have taken a similar kind of problem. Here you can see I have a uh, column below, column above, and this uh, four sides adjoining beams. If I right click on this top column, I will be opening. I have designed it as per uh, uh, the ductile design criteria. So if I go to the, uh, we can say, bottom location of this particular column so here you can see this is the uh, you can say bottom location of this particular column the zero zero location right and there are let me see if there are actually there are many uh, combinations for each combination it is calculated actually so let me go to the you can see the start location zero zero and if i go to the details here you can see and if i go to this joint shear details so let me just zoom it a bit so you can see uh, joint shear ratio is only determined for a station and now it is not calculated actually okay you can see there are nodes if the station has a beam column joint top of the column so it is not calculated here okay so where i will be finding it now the same thing i will do for this column at the bottom right click and i will go to the top so what is the top location if it is a zero zero then the ultimate uh, the end height total height uh, will be the top location so if i go to you can see 2.5 there are many 2.5s for each uh, load combination suppose i am going for this load combination number 35 and this is the 2.5 location okay that means the total height is 2.5 and uh, i am going for this particular location and if i right click on details and if i go to joint shear details here you can see let me just zoom it a bit you can see this joint shear design okay uh, the beam column dimension of beams at the joint so the whole process of joint shear calculation is performed here okay if you do not know how the joint shear is being calculated in ETABS or in manually as per IS 139 uh, in our course on advanced ETABS and RCC design uh, using the manual process so in that course we have uh, explained every single topic given in is 1390 code and also how the software is performing the same you can check that out if it is required for you okay so you can see here the joint capacity joint share capacity and the joint share demand is also calculated as per is 1390 uh, you can say criteria okay 
so this is it uh, this is the answer actually uh, every column top you will be getting the uh, you can say calculation for the joint share uh, check okay so this is the uh, this is it for this particular quiz uh, very soon we'll be posting another uh, you can say quiz on etaps and i hope you'll be participating in that quiz and similarly we will post the answer in our youtube video so that you can also learn from that thank you and see you in the next quiz